Hey guys, Funny Guy Timmy here for a very interesting video. Very, very interesting. I don't think I've seen anyone else do a video on this question or topic, so I'm doing it. So, what we're about to do is try to figure out if we can use one of these phantom supply boxes, phantom power supply boxes, plus a USB to XLR cable and use it as basically an interface because that's basically what a small interface is. It's a box that sends a signal to the computer and provides phantom power. Now, obviously, we won't be able to monitor, but we're going to try it anyway. So I have this huge nest of just wires here, just all of this to try to make this happen. But to make it happen, we are going to need... We're going to need an extra cable because we are going to have to send the XLR to USB from the out and then use this cable to go in to the microphone, like so. And then this will be providing phantom power to the microphone, and then the signal will go to the computer. Now, I'm not confident in the... even. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. I mean, I don't see any reason that it wouldn't. But I'm not confident in the quality of audio. That's what I'm not confident in. Because there's a lot of extra steps. Also, you won't be able to monitor yourself. You won't be able to monitor yourself. But this whole question, this whole challenge, was presented by a subscriber who was very new to the, the whole voiceover thing. So he said he bought one of these kinds of cables, and he was wondering if he could use just a phantom power supply to make it work. And I, well, had, I was like, I've never heard that question. I have no idea. I don't see any reason that it wouldn't work, but I, I, I wouldn't vouch for its quality. Also, again, you won't be able to monitor yourself. But we're about to find out. I'm about to actually turn this video off, unplug that, plug this in, and then we're going to find out. I I'm not going to be able to hear myself until later, so you guys will be hearing it, and I won't. But here we go. All right. I don't know why I was about to put my headphones on. I don't, don't need them because I can't hear myself, which is really kind of frustrating but anyway so now i have the phantom power supply plugged in to the usb to xlr cable as well as the xlr into the sennheiser mkh 416 now i did have to check a couple ways because i can't hear myself because there's nothing to plug it into i can't hear myself do live monitoring so i had to actually check do a test video and check to see where the levels were and if it was actually recording. And it was recording, but it was recording very, very quietly. Very, very quiet. And it, I couldn't really turn it up all that easily without it just spiking or clipping. So I think this is the safest volume I was able to get it at. I'm still probably going to be boosting it in post, but I'm not going to be doing any queuing or any cleanup or any gain. Actually, I might do a cleanup. I'll probably do a cleanup for you guys in a little bit. But this is... Anytime that you have to increase the volume or the gain or the levels in your computer digitally, it's going to affect the quality of the sound. It's going to alter the sound. It's going to add a lot of digital noise. It's going to add some artificial noise to it. And that's something that you're going to want to avoid. But what I'm going to do is I am going to now do a silence and then I'm going to do a cleanup and a silence to show you can you actually use this? Can this actually be cleaned up? So, silence. All right, so there you go. There's the silence. It's probably pretty noisy, but I can't tell because I'm not listening to it. Now, I'm going to do a cleanup. I'm going to do a cleanup for you guys. Here we go. That was a weak snap. That was lame. That was pathetic. But now you're listening to it with a little bit of EQing compression, 
and clean up on it to show you more or less what you could do with the audio. I'm not going to go crazy with it. I'm not going to do a complete noise gate. I'm not going to eliminate all noise, but I'm going to show you what you can kind of tweak it and make it sound like. So now we're going to do a silence again. There you go. So can this work from tests before? Yes, it can work. Should you go this route? Only if you have to. I wouldn't recommend it for a couple reasons. Number one, it's not really that much cheaper. And it's not going to sound all that great. It, there are tons of small interfaces like the Behringer uh, UM22, I think. I'll put some kind of thing on the screen. That is probably like a $30 to $40 interface. It gives you one channel phantom power and live monitoring, which would basically defeat the purpose of this because the phantom power supply plus the cable is going to be already close. It's probably going to be like $25 to maybe $30 just to get those two things. So you might as well spend a little bit extra to just get a decent interface, to just get a basic decent interface. It's probably going to be cleaner in audio and it's going to give you live monitoring and it's not going to be as complicated. There's so many cables at my feet right now. It's driving me crazy. It's driving me insane. So can you do this? Yes, it works. Should you? Probably not. I don't recommend it, but that's just me. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked the help and suggestions. If you thought this was pointless or you hated it, give it a thumbs down, totally fine. Subscribe if you're new, bell for notifications. If you are interested in these things, the a link to decent priced ones will be in the description, just in case if you do think that this would work for you or you do wanna try it out, whatever, down below in the description. So thank you guys for watching and until next time, peace.